Well, welcome to another segment of Northern Lights. What we have been doing in the past few uh, sessions is giving you an example about what festival workshops are all about. At Northern Lights Festival Boreal, everybody is quite aware of the concerts and uh, what happens at concerts, but perhaps you in the audience aren't quite aware as what we mean, but we say uh, workshops and workshop stages during the festival itself. Well, as you realize, during the festival, there is as many as, as four stages operating during the, the free time day activities where we highlight a group of performers who take a subject or a theme, whether it's guitar styles or uh, dulcimer styles, banjo picking or uh, songs related to work or pleasure or any, any themes at all, and they, they swap songs that relate to a particular sum subject back and forth. What I'm going to do for you today is to do a sort of one-man workshop on a particular theme, and the theme, of course, is going to be women in songs. I'd like to start off with a traditional folk song called Bold William Taylor, and it has to do about a young woman who is rejected by her lover who goes off and enlists in the, uh, in the Navy but she's not satisfied to sit at home and wait for his return, but she dresses herself up into men's clothes, joins the Navy herself in order to seek him out. Now, this was not a particular peculiar occurrence, uh, uh, because uh, there's a lot of songs and a lot of stories about true historical women who actually did this and joined up to either the Army or the Navy, disguised themselves as men, and uh, really achieved quite a, a rank and reputation uh, amongst the warriors of their day. Bull William Taylor. I'll sing you a song about two lovers, all from Richfield town they came. The young man's name was William Taylor. Sally Gray was the lady's name. Well, William Taylor, he has listed for a sailor. He has gone, he's gone and left his own true lover for to weep and for to moan. Well, Sally's parents did despise her, filled her heart with grief and woe, until at last she's vowed and told them for a sailor she would go. So she's dressed herself in man's apparel, man's apparel she put on. She's gone to seek for her true lover, for to seek him she has gone. Ah, but one day when she was exercising, exercising one, two, three, a silver chain pulled down her waistcoat and exposed her lily white breast. Well, the sergeant major stepped up to her, asking her what brought her here. I've come to seek for my true lover, who has proved to me severe. Well, if you've come to seek for your true lover, pray you tell to me his name. His name is bold William Taylor. All from Richfield town he came. Well, if William Taylor is your true lover, William Taylor is not here. He's lately married a rich young woman. She's worth 10,000 pounds a year. Ah, but if you rise early in the morning, just before the break of day, it's there you'll find bold William Taylor walking out with his lady gay. Well, she rose early in the morning, just before the break of day, and there she spied old William Taylor, 
walking out with his lady gay. And she's drawn out her sword and pistol that were brought at her command. She's shot and killed old William Taylor and his lady at his right hand. Well, then the captain stepped up to her, pleased it well with what she'd done. And he's gone and made her a bold commander over a ship and all its men. Now, that was a nice thing for the captain to do, wasn't it? Making her an admiral over all his men.